Good evening. Tonight on Ask Sebastian, as well as our usual post bag, I'd like to reverse things and ask you, the viewers, a question. Imagine you are out and about in a public place, filming with your mobile phone whilst narrating to the camera. Now imagine an out-of-uniform police officer walking up and telling you that you are not allowed to film in public, despite the fact that you know this to be a lie. How would you react? Now imagine you're outside a police station, filming a piece for a documentary. In fact, just watch this. This one is not to be confused oh, with the one me, on Grantham Parade. But what really uh, interests me, me sir, about... Is everything all right? Do you need some help? For sake, no. no. thank you, officer. I'm just making a video. So, if you don't uh, yeah, mind... C can I ask why you're filming here? I assume you realise it's a police station. I'm not a fool, you know, officer. Of course I do. No, That's no, why I, I'm here. I never, I never said you were, sir. But you do have to realise that this is a secure site. Then you should have nothing to worry about. And since you're engaging with a member of the public, could you please identify... Well, who are you, first of all, sir? Do you have some form of identification on you? Why? Do I have to identify myself? Is this Nazi Germany? Are you insisting on my papers? I thought it was in your policy to identify. But you're filming into a police station. And is that illegal? Uh, potentially, sir, yes. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you again. What's your name and what are you doing here? Young man, as you insist on harassing me whilst I'm performing a legal activity, I must break the consensual conversation and bid you good day. I'm afraid it doesn't work like that, sir. You can't just stand on the street filming into a police premises. So, at this time, I'm going to search you under Section 41 because I believe you to be performing hostile reconnaissance. So, what? you just stand Excuse there whilst I, I wait with one of my mind. colleagues. Now, at this point, the constable, who was later identified as PC Alan Cranky, turned my camera off and proceeded to place me in handcuffs. Then, when another officer arrived, I was searched in the street like a common criminal. However, as I said at the beginning, the law states quite clearly that I am allowed to record not only the police in the course of their duties, but also police stations. Yet some officers don't seem to have received the memo. And the memo in question comes directly from the police's own governing body. However, these officers clearly need some retraining. Well, that is, when my solicitors are finished with them. Anyhow, I shall of course let you know how this turns out. But in the meantime, I urge all of you, stand up for your rights. As a wise man once said, your rights are like muscles. One has to continue to exercise them every day, or they will go away. Now then, over to a question from Mr. Hugh Janus, down in a place called Scratchy Bottom in Dorset, and he asks, is it true that I once auditioned for the part of James Bond? Well, now I'm afraid the answer is no. It wasn't James Bond. In fact, it was for the part of Simon Templar, aka The Saint. You see, in the early 2000s, Myself and a few chaps over at London Weekend Television had plans to relaunch the franchise that had originally starred my old friend Roger Moore. Marvellous chap. He was a world-famous breeder of Afghan hounds, you know. Anyway, at the time, there was some speculation about my taking on the role of an older version of the saint, where I would train my replacement, as it were. But unfortunately, negotiations fell through at the last minute, and that was it. Though I dare say they will try to reinvent the show eventually. Now then, next it's a question from someone called Martin, who just wants to know if I'm related to Mr. Reg Presley, lead singer 
with the trogs. Now, you really could have worked this one out for yourself as a quick search on Google would have soon shown you that Reg Presley's real name is Reginald Maurice Ball. And whilst we're on the subject, Mr. Johnson, Miss Merrydew, and Mr. Andrews, I'm not related to either Elvis Presley, Tim Presley, or Eamon Presley. Anyway, lastly tonight, we have a question from someone who doesn't give their name, but asks, if I were marooned on a tropical desert island, what one item would I like to take with me? Now then, Martin, I see what you've done. You've simply rephrased the whole Desert Island disc format. Hmm. So, as we're almost out of time, and to answer your question as swiftly as possible, I'd like a satellite radio telephone, please. And that's it for this week. And it just remains for me to say, as always, may the blessings of Mother Compass be upon you.